today. Obviously in the white we've got the away side, the Swansea Titans currently undefeated. Didn't concede any points until last week in their game with the UWE Bullets 2s in which the Titans were able to come away 21 to 19 whereas Gloucester had a hard fought game with the Plymouth Blitz. Old foes so to say of the Gloucestershire Gladiators 28 to 12 for the home side. Swansea are looking to receive the ball. Beautiful kits from Swansea. Everyone knows the story of the Titans. Up in the Prem two years ago. Seems like a distant memory now. As they're in Div 2 trying to fight their way back up. Very akin to the Bath Killer Bees. Who basically did the same thing. Coming all the way down for the Prem. Looking to bounce straight back up. Uh, left or back? Sorry, I just need to move the cameras. I wish the ref would have told me that before uh, kickoff happened. Just give me a second, everyone. I just want to do my opening speech. Let me move my bag. No, okay. I'll jump back on comments when I've done my bag. Hey, there we go. <clears throat> so number eight and number two, back to receive for the Titans. Number 88, Joe White for Gloucestershire to kick it away. Jack Killer and James Griffiths, Killer in seven, Griffiths in eight are going to be the receiving mans as this game is blown in. Go White with a strike, bit low. Goes to number seven. Killer managing to get some good yardage there, but brought down by, I believe that was 85, Victor of the Gloucestershire Gladiators, Big Vic, the VIC. <clears throat> Looks to be starting on the 24 yard line. They got some big boys, do these Titans. The man to look out for for the Swansea Titans is 17. Their QB fields out of Fordham University. And a great break up there by Reese Gale. Brandon Fields, Josh Ricketts trying to tell me he's related to Justin, he's not, but out of Fordham University. Yeah, yeah, that is an American one, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, spread for the Titans. Hand off to 47. That's a big back, and he's going. That's going to be a first down for the Titans. Where's 47? That's Billy Bates in there. That's a big, big running back. And yes, number 67, Fernham for the Titans. He is that big when you're standing on the sideline. Here we go. And Fields is running. And Fields has got space. Fields is going. Trucks a couple of players, flag on the play. But well, that's what you've got to look out for when you're playing the Titans, is the speed of fields. He can throw the ball, but he can run it. So an illegal block in the back there on the Titans. Got to bring some of that good positive yardage there off that fields run back. Still another first down for Swansea. Oh, no. 
same formation. And Fields is looking left. Throws a strike to 48. Getting out of all the tackles. Looks like that's going to be another first down for Swansea. You know, it was made aware to Gloucestershire that Swansea were looking at this game as maybe their hardest, prepping for it quite a lot. As the Swansea Titans are marching down the field. Looks like they're going to be starting on the Gloucestershire's 21. High snap, handoff to number 47, Bateson. He gets brought down by, I believe that is number... 36, Jack Burgess. Bit of a windy day here in Gloucestershire. Going to be a gain of three on that play from Bateson. Fields is looking. And over the head of number eight, Griffiths. Is that right? Yeah, get in. <clears throat> Not the start Gloucestershire wanted, he's, he says, but there's third and six here. Gloucestershire can stop this. Going to be brutal, but obviously Swansea are going to throw everything at it here. Fields is looking. Thrown to 84. Dragged out of bounds by Isaac, number 10. But that looks like it's going to be a another first down for the Titans. Titans setting at the pace quite early here. Not a surprise. They've got aspirations of bouncing straight back up. Going back up to the southwest one and proving last year it was just a fluke. Looking like that's going to be on the nine, seven or eight yard line for the Titans. Left hash. And Fields looks to run. He almost trips. But an opening salvo there for the Titans. QB scrambles, fields in for a touchdown. Let's put six on the board. <clears throat> big, big guys on the Titans. Both teams are still going to be looking towards Northern Wales. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. Number two, looking to kick it through. And just like that, it goes through. And the Swansea Titans put seven on the board. A great mix of offensive procedures there from Swansea. QB runs. I tell you what, Bateson, that's a big man. That's a big, big running back. Let me check my sheet quickly. Hear the... Nicklin, the kicker, number two. Ready to boot it away. Louis Trotman, number six, and Harry Owen, number four. Back to receive for the Gloucestershire Gladiators. Here we go. That's got some good kick, and that is going to be going to Louis Trotman, number six. I don't know who's got that, and Trotman's still got it. Trotman's running. Trotman's breaking. And I tell you what, what a great return there from number six, Louis Trotman. He's looking... To be bringing that to midfield, great field position for the opening uh, for the opening uh, kickoff return for Gloucestershire. Sorry, I'm for the crunching. Oh, I've got a cough sweet in because I'm ill. So 
So Joe Chucksfield, the centre, number 74. A bit of a wide split here. Two back. There's a handoff to Fabs. And he's dragged down. They got big people on that line, do Swansea. Just engulfing. Just engulfing Fabs there. Uh, going to be a gain of one on the play for Gloucestershire. <coughs> so trips left now for Gloucestershire. Man in motion, high snap, fakes the handoff. Snell's, Josh Snell is looking. And he's just got to throw it out of bounds. Swansea giving Gloucestershire a bit of time there. Going to be a third and nine for the home squad. Two backs now for Gloucestershire. Snell's looking. And over the top of number seven, Harvey Sutcliffe. <laughs> and Gloucestershire can't retaliate with points on their own of their first drive. As on comes number 88 to kick it away, Joe White. As Killer and Griffiths. Killer seven, Griffiths eight, back to receive for the Titans. Bit of a low kick there. Going to Griffiths. Great catch on the bounce there from number eight of the Swansea Titans. So back on the field are the Swansea Titans offense. And Gloucestershire are gonna have to learn how do you cover everything. Same formation. No need to change it if you're Swansea. Fields got it. Hand off now to 232. Going to be a loss of yards. Going to be a loss of two, it looks like, for Jacob Harris. Running back out of Swansea. Loss of two, loss of one. One and a half. <coughs> Here we go. Same formation again from the Titans. Here we go. And a toss to Harris again. Gonna be an okay game for that. For the toss there. <coughs> you, know, you can get confident in yourself if you're Gloucestershire, but you know. The Titans are formidable, especially on third. And they're going to have a third, and I'm going to say seven. Looking more like seven and a half, because there's a dog in the background. The defense of Gloucestershire, a bit late to, bit, bit late to line up here. As Fields is looking, and he pings it, but over the head of his receivers, as it looks like number 24 for the Glads, Reese Gale is hopping, but it's going to be a punt now for the Titans. Scoreline still stands seven to the Swansea Titans. Number six. Back to receive as Nicklin is going to kick it away. 
Here we go. Spiral, spiral. Taking a nice Swansea bounce there. Gonna have to see where that lines up. As the Gloucestershire offense comes back on. Very, very little success last time. They were on the pitch and they're gonna be starting deep in their own half. Trotman managed to get them out of trouble the first time with a good return off the fake handoff. There we go. Looking like it's gonna be on maybe the 14-15. Let's tighten up that little picture a little bit. Hand off to Fabs. There's a push going on. When are the refs going to call it? Pushing. Wow, 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 wow. I don't think I've seen that much pushing. That was like a ruck. Unbelievable. Is that going to be... And, that, and all that pushed is going to result in a first down, the first first down for the Gloucestershire Gladiators. <laughs> Fabs, I'll try and give people fun facts to go along. Fabs <coughs> works in the bookies and I wore his do-rag last week. Unbelievable stuff. Okay. <coughs> 74, Joe Chaxfield snapping. Jakob, 77. Stefan, our man from Canada. One of the men from Canada, number 69. Trips right now for Gloucestershire. Harry Owen on an island. Snell's looking. <sighs> and Harry Owen having to act as defensive back there as that ball looked more convincingly thrown <coughs> to the Swansea Titans as opposed to Harry Owen himself, but managing to break it up. Second and 10 here for Gloucestershire. You know, if you're the players to look out for if you're on the Swansea, you know, you've got to respect number four, Harry Owen. He is at the target. And Snell, hand off to Fabs again, but, but number nine, four, Swansea. Ade Adenji just picks up Fabs. Small man, but that is a loss of forward momentum if I've ever seen it. Just removing the ground from underneath the man. And that is going to be a, th a third and 12 now for Gloucestershire. And it's going to be trips right now for Gloucestershire. Let's widen up that image a little bit. To Harry Owen, he's got it. He's got it, but is that going to be a first down? Let's... And a great conversion there from the home side. Harry Owen, with his first reception of the day, is going to bring that just closer to midway, <coughs> but not being able to bring it past, but still a great completion on third and 12. Those Swansea Titans D tackles get a hold of the running backs. Again, just picked a man up. He got 10 in motion. And it's looking like that's going to be... And Joe Chaxfield, the worst centre the Gloucestershire Gladiators have ever had. He's awful. He's not very good, and you can prove that there. Um, he's, sometimes his hearing doesn't work. He's got those ear blockers in that Derek Carr had. That's going to cost the Glads a very, very... Spread now for Gloucestershire. over the head of Harry Owen as he joins his, I'd say his fellow Welshman, but I don't think that's 
I wouldn't know if how many people on the Swansea Titans are actually Welsh. So I wouldn't be able to say that. You just sort of assume that they are, don't you? Both of these teams are going to have their eyes peeled to North Wales for the Bullets versus Aberystwyth. <clears throat> Swansea hoping for a, you know, Swansea can't, you know, win the division. Well, they technically can with an Aberystwyth loss. Snell's looking, hand off to number 10. <coughs> Run game of Gloucestershire. Apart from that big shove for a first down earlier, not really going anywhere. <clears throat> Both teams are going to be hoping for an Aberystwyth loss as we have the Battle of Wales coming up next week on Super Bowl Sunday as the Titans travel to Aberystwyth. <clears throat> a lot of bad blood in that game. But Swansea want to wrap up the division undefeated. <coughs> okay, I apologize for my coffee, ladies and gentlemen. Josh Snell looking. He throws it up for fours. <coughs> and Dylan Patrick is going to be kicking himself tomorrow morning because that was in and out of his hands. I tell you what, lots of shouting on the Gloucestershire sideline. Coaches shouting at each other, not what you want to see. Only a, only a seven point game. <clears throat> As Killer and Griffiths are back to return for the Titans. Joe White kicks it, got some spin. And Griffiths has got it. But a bobbled catch there. Realistically, probably the best the Gloucestershire Gladiators could have hoped for as there's no return and the Swansea Titans are going to be starting behind in their own half. Good reception there by Patterson, 84. Sorry, there's someone I'm trying to <clears throat> get myself cough sweet and operate the camera as per usual. <clears throat> and talk to you all, of course. Liam Bentley in the comments, love a bit of Liam Bentley. He's on holiday somewhere. Okay, Fields now looking and bouncing off the floor in front of Patterson. You got a mad cough, I do. I do apologise. Again, I'm, I'm having to hold a charger and Swansea's roster sheet and I'll break the camera while I try and give myself a cough suite. Update on the cough suite, it's unwrapped, it's going in. Okay. Okay, we're back, we're back, we're back. Third and nine here for the Titans. Line up in spread here, low snap. Fields has got it. Fields throws it out. Oh, wow, what a grab. And another touchdown there for the Swansea Titans. Number eight, James Griffiths. He may have bobbled the uh, catch, but my Lord, what a catch there. Scoreline goes 13-0 as it stands. And it goes through two score game here at Plot Court. There is a Titan down. <clears throat> you can definitely tell there are some angry words happening on the sideline of the Gladiators because Griffiths was wide open. Was wide open. Lock in, lock in. <clears throat> Only Q1. 
as it stands, Gloucestershire's promotional hopes are dissipating. One more score from the Titans. Oh, be sensational. Nicklin looking to put it away. Trotman and Owen back to receive. Low kick this time going to Trotman. This time giving it to Falls. They've seen the reverse before. A little bit of extra yardage there, but not too much. <coughs> I feel like the Titans know that you do not want to be giving the ball to Harry Owen if you can help it. And Q1 is in the books and it's been all Swansea Titans. In the quarter, get some water. That is the call. Again, all Swansea here. This cough sweet's gross. Can you believe that? <coughs> Let's see where the let me see where the ball is being spotted. I don't see any don't see any ball yet. Okay. Look like that's going to be on the Glad's own 24. Two backs in. Harry Owen on the outside. Oh, sorry, Harvey Suckler from the outside. High snap. Snell looking. And a reception there. From number seven, Harvey Suckcliffe. Fun fact about him. <coughs> Loves uh, Yorkshire tea. From the north, don't worry, no relation. Unbelievable stuff. Tell you what though, a bit worrying there for the mentality of Gloucestershire. <coughs> no real celebration. High snap again. This time hand off to Fabs. Brought down there by 98. Let me try and find a 98. Sam Thompson there making it look easy. That's going to be a loss of two for Gloucestershire. No looking, and it's picked off by number 11. And that is Colton Canturk there with a pick. Celebrations happening. And the Titans are going to have great field position. I tell you what, Colton Canturk, that's a football name. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a football name. Here we go. First time the Swansea Titans are up close to us. 13.84 on the right. Fields ready. Low snap there, bounce off the floor. Fields in motion. And he's fighting. <clears throat> Don't think that's gonna be a loss of yardage. Even when Fields has got one or two men on him, he just keeps pounding. 
And before you ask this, I don't know why there are some Swansea Titans wearing green lowers and most are wearing white. There we go, Fields looking. Out of the hands of Patterson. Third and ten here. It's going to be quite a rare occurrence here for the Swansea side. Here's a third and ten. Here we go. Jacob Harris in the backfield. Fields is looking. And over the head of Jonathan Newton. So here we go now. A rarity on this field, ladies and gentlemen, a field goal attempt by the Titans. Looking to take this to a 17-pointer. Nicklin the kicker. Jamie Kicklin, new nickname. That looks like it's gonna be low. No good. No good. I tell you what, Nicklin's been fairly good with those kicker returns, but that was a low drive. Does not change the fact that the Swansea Titans are still up 14. And we're part way into Q2. Here we go. Gloucestershire are going to be starting on their own 30. And coming out in spread. Good snap, Snell's looking. Caught by 84 Fabs. Going to be a gain of two for Gloucestershire. Liam Bentley wants it. You saying time to cook fours or time to cook comma fours? Anyway, we're back in. Love a bit of Liam Bentley. Trips formation now for the home side. Harvey Sutcliffe, Alex Ball, Fabs. Snell's got it. Hand off to Isaac. But the, again, I think it's easy to say that the run game of Gloucestershire. It ain't there. It is not there today. As the, as the, as the rain clouds roll in, if it rains, I'm going to cry because I've left my umbrella on the Gloucestershire sideline. Yay! Anyway, here we go. Third and nine here for Gloucestershire. Snell looking. And off the left shin of Harry Owen. Here we go. Looking like a lack. Well, yeah. That was a very, very silly penalty. Very, very silly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not the, not the smartest call I've ever seen in my life from Gloucestershire there. Maxwell's, I'm not sure if any of Gloucester's offerings is there today. No, it's struggling. It is struggling. 28 being their highest points they've put up so far this season. And I tell you what, Isaac Ness, number 22 there, basically had his hands right on the uh, 
big toe of Joe White there as they both go off the sideline talking. Swans are going to start in their own half, but not by a lot. I wish I had a silencer so you didn't have to hear me cough, but unfortunately I don't. Cough suite is in. Here we go. Two receivers in here. Fields looking. Screen pass out. 232, and he's got a lane. And Jacob Harris there cooking up some big yardage. And that's going to move the Titans. Going to move the Titans over to Gloucester's side of the field. I'm say by about three. Three. Here we go. And that's a, and just a chest pass out. I've never seen a chest pass used in American football, but. Fields there, managing to just bounce it off there. To Harris again, I believe. And that's going to be a loss of, I'm going to say, four for Swansea. Second and 14 for the former Premiership side. Lots of great games happening this week, ladies and gentlemen. I'll try and tell you more about it when Fields isn't throwing balls, but... In and out of the hands of Griffiths. I'd say that's even a bit generous. I don't think that that... Definitely uh, fingertips there. Going to bring up a third 14 now for the Swansea Titans. You don't want to be Gloucestershire and losing to two Welsh teams in a season. Rumours will start happening. Here we go. Miss spread. Fields is looking. He's looking for eight. And rescale there. So, you know, I know people know that, you know, I used, I'm the former CC centre last year. <clears throat> I like a lot of these boys. I like all of them, in fact. But, Reese, when you watch this back, what was that? Sorry to have a go, but what was that? Unbelievable stuff. Louis Trotman back to receive. Kicklin's got it. Calling poison. Just goes up in the air. And ladies and gentlemen, the abominable Joshua Ricketts on the sideline there for Gloucestershire. Tried to catch that ball. Did not get it. <clears throat> Probably the second best field position Gloucestershire have started with. And they're going to need some points before the half in a two-score game. We know the run play. The run is not working. I think it's fair to say that push play, where everyone gathered around, got a bit lucky on. No, I completely agree. He's got to catch that. He's got to catch that. Trips on the right. High snap here to Snell. Caught by <clears throat> Harvey Sutcliffe trying to bring that in, but managing to pop it up into the air. <coughs> Sorry, Lizardman. And Joe Chaxfield coming off now, the starting centre for Gloucestershire after one specific. Britball commentator uh, had to leave the University of Gloucestershire. Low snap there from MCD. And a great break up there. Harry Owen tried to get it. Nicklin being a gadget man. Being an absolute gadget man. <clears throat> And we've got the current CC of the Gloucestershire Gladiator. He's recovering from knee surgery. Watching at home, is he? Third and ten here. Is it going to be another third, three and out here for Gloucestershire? 
Now you got spread Sutcliffe, Owen, I think Isaac. And Snell just not managing to get that on the money. There was some space for Owen. <clears throat> but the ball was too high here. <coughs> and what's shaping up to be Gloucestershire's man of the match, number 88, Joe White. High snap there. And you saw there, we could have seen a man die. As we saw number 99, a Deji running straight at Fabs, number 84. <clears throat> that is a size comparison that you do not want to see. I mean, Swansea. Here we go. Fields looking. Screen out to Griffiths. Makes a man miss, makes two. Going to be a good game. I'm going to say six for the Swansea Titans. Flag on the play, though, in the backfield. And, you know, an OK stop there for Gloucestershire. I just said he was man of the match. That's my fault. I shouldn't have said that. Because number 88, Joe White, roughing the passer. 15 yards, and that is going to take the ball a yard shy of the halfway mark. Let's wind that out a bit. Fields is looking. He's looking left. 84 is in it all by himself. Makes a man miss. Makes another man miss. And he's... He's going to be brought down at the one. On the three-yard line, not the one. For number eight, four there, Patterson on an island by himself. Harsh words are going to be coming to the Gloucestershire team. Gloucestershire Gladiators at half time. The coach calls a QB run, but they cannot stop him. <laughs> There we go. No, I think it's easy to say now. With three scores up in the first, this game is running away from Gloucestershire. As Nicklin tries to put it away. Here we go. And no good. No good. 20-0 <clears throat> here for the Titans. <coughs> oh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, the, the other game, Sport Tank, doing today. A little bit different, not a top of the table clash, but a bottom of the table clash between the Royal Holloway Bears and the Reading Knights, with the loser of that game cast off into Division 2. Reading, who've just come up. Holloway, who have only lost all their games bar one against the Oxford Lancers.
I'll have a chat about all the divs at half time, if you'll begrudge me to partake in it. As Nicklin looks to kick there, Trotman and Owen back. Nicklin with a boot. Again, he's putting it towards Trotman. We almost, almost broke everything. Okay. <clears throat> and 30 yard line start for Gloucestershire. I'm being told through my powers of eavesdropping. There's three and a half minutes left here. All teams have got both. All both teams have got all three timeouts, what I'm trying to say. Another reception there by Owen. Sideline. And a first down for Gloucestershire. Feels like we've been quite a long first downs for the Gladiators. Here we go, starting centre for Gloucestershire, still out. Joe McDermott in. Snell looking. He's rolling. And the ball just out of bounds. People in the chat, tell me who you're rooting for. Because I'll tell you what, if you're supporting the Swansea Titans, you're having a good Sunday. <clears throat> Here we go. Second and ten. Gloucestershire yard shy of the midway point of the field. Oh, Snow looking again. And that is caught by Harvey Sutcliffe. Going to be a gain. Going to be a gain of six there for the Gladiators. But it is third down, not what you want. Here we go. Four yards for a first down. Proven to be quite hard for Gloucestershire. High snap. Snell looking. Snell's running. Snow might have, Snow's got the first down, but there's a flag, two flags in the backfield. Hopefully, at half time, I can try and give you an update on the other game in the Southwest 2 this week Aberystwyth versus the UWE Bullets 2s in Aberystwyth. Obviously, Battle of Wales happening next week. No matter the outcome of this game, Swansea versus Aberystwyth. Where I'm fairly certain, well, if Aberystwyth win today and Swansea win today, which is looking likely, then that game will be for the division. I know that Aberystwyth lost. Okay, two minute warning. And a first down for Gloucestershire. Okay, back to what I was saying. Even though Aberystwyth would have lost to Plymouth, <clears throat> if they beat Swansea next week, both teams' record will be four and one or five and one. If Swansea win here today, again, which is looking likely, um, but Aberystwyth will have the head-to-head. -head. Obviously, there's a lot of ifs there. I'm not in the business of ifs. Absolutes. Oh, wow. Fumble snap there. Recovered by Billy Bateson, number 47. 
And the Swansea Titans are going to have another crack at scoring with less than two minutes left. All three timeouts for both teams. As disaster in Gloucestershire. <clears throat> oh gosh. Coughs will get any better. We're gonna see the field. Fields audible and out of summon. We're gonna get to see the armor field today. Or well, then butt bouncing off the floor there. But clock stops. Don't worry about it. The clock is stopping. Here we go. Second and ten here for the Titans. My arm's starting to hurt. Not that anyone cares. You'll see Tony Romo complaining about his arm hurt. Fields looking. Caught by 84, dodges one, but <clears throat> the tackle by number two, Hero, enough to throw Patterson off a of balance and resulting in a tackle. But it's going to be a good game, third and six as we go. Speed here, tempo, tempo. Fields looking over the head of Patterson. <coughs> going to bring up fourth down. Well, we see Nicklin, Fields coming off and Nicklin going on, which means the punting unit is on. What have I done? I've really got my finger. Trotman back to receive again. Flag on the play. Sorry, Swansea were calling it their ball. I wanted to, I was eavesdropping in on the conversation to see what it was. A bit of confusion now. Whose offense is on? No one can figure it quite out yet. That's a Gloucestershire offense. Who's on the field? But then so is Fields for the Titans. So let's see which way the refs point. So there you go, Gloucester O. Again, a chance here. Now, interesting. Dying minutes here. Change of QB. <clears throat> As we get the man from Tamworth. Ollie Sweeney. Love a bit of Ollie Sweeney in the morning. Hand off to Fabs. And a good run as he runs into the calves of his new centre, Joe McDermott. No timeout called here. No, talking, talking out my bottom. Talking out my bottom. Uh, First time out, one minute left. Mikhail Robles loves the change. Trips left it for the Gloucestershire Gladiators. 
Just trying to get anything going here. Whether it even be momentum for Sweeney, that ball is wide open and it's picked off. That ball was sailing in the wind. I believe that is number 88, Dylan Patrick, as Gloucestershire throw their second pick of the day. And Swansea is set up in great field position to put even more points on the board. So you're going to be looking to see Fields' arm here. And we're going to see it. He's looking for 13. And just unable to get it into the hands of 13 there. Great vertical from both Louis Trotman and Jonathan Newton. I wish I could jump that high. I can't. But I don't think I can jump at all anymore. The only difference is that my blood pressure jumps every time I walk up the stairs. That's a joke. Or is it? No, we don't know. Okay. Second and ten here. Sub one minute. Low snap. But a handoff. Jacob Harris. Timeout by Swansea. Yeah, not too much of a surprise there. There you go, 25 seconds on the on the on the clock for Swansea. As Swansea are going to be looking to take all of this to Aberyst with next week. Ah. You know, I'm not saying you have to look past everything yet, but I tell you what. A touchdown here for Swansea. Ooh, you're going to have to start looking. Low snap again. Fields is looking. And that's not good. We've got an injured player down here for Gloucestershire. Let's turn that down because he's right by my, right by where I am. Jumped up in the air there. Did number eleven, <coughs> John Vincent. veteran of the Gloucester Gladiator squad there, not good. That's a shame because those non-contact injuries are always the worst. <coughs> Wind definitely starting to pick up here in Swansea. See if I can turn my mic up. Let's put it there. Okay, he's sitting up now, which is nice, which is good. Very windy here, not good. Especially for a man trying to hold about four different things at once. You can see I'm trying to figure it all out with the wind blowing. There we go. So being held back to his own sideline. As I try and hunt for my phone. Uh, I'll check scores in a bit. I'll check scores at the half. How about that? So they're trying to do it now. Go left, go left. Go, go. 
Okay. Fourth and 12 here for the Swansea Titans. Spread still. Fields is looking. And an interception there from Trotman. Flags flying. But Trotman, who had three interceptions last game, adds to his total with another one. Three flags. Three flags in the backfield now. Looks like there's going to be a taunting pen if I can, if my ears don't deceive me. Let's see what it is. I'm going to try and get some scores up. I'm holding five different pieces of equipment. So here we go. 16 seconds. Be interesting to see what they do here. As the wind is kicking off, oh my lord. phone back in my pocket. So here we go. Sweeney the QB in the situation. One six left on the clock as the wind starts to pick up. Sweeney is looking. Okay. I tell you what, that was both in and out of the hands of both Killer and Sutcliffe. But it's looking like Sutcliffe is going to come away with the ball at about the half. But that was very, very, very close to another pick. So nine seconds remain for Gloucestershire. One timeout remaining for the home squad. I will try and give you an update on some scores, but I've only got two. That is full time in Nottingham versus Cambridge in the Midlands 2, 27 to 3. And the Kent Falcons are currently beating the UEA Pirates 12 0. And SGS beat Lions 20 0. That's all I've got so far. I'll have a browse through Instagram and I'll put some of this. As a last ditch attempt here by Gloucestershire as Ollie Sweeney throws another pick. Seconds left on the clock. Are the Titans gonna have the Titans gonna have one more shot of the end zone? Let's see. So there we go here in Gloucestershire. The hometown team are not going to be happy with this. Swansea 20, Gloucestershire 0. As the South West 2 starting to take shape. I'm going to try and put some of this stuff down, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to try and put some stuff down. Have a look at some scores around the league. So if we want to just have a brief chat about this game, the... The run attack of Gloucestershire, you know. If I could. The running attack, it's, it, it's not there for Gloucestershire. I think we can see that. Inundated with picks currently. Um, Ollie Sweeney's been on the pitch, you know, not that long. Two. Overthrowing the ball. But, you know, we have seen some sparks from the defence of Gloucestershire. Been able to stop the Titans a few times, but... Gloucestershire, they're in their own head here. I think if it gets to a point 
in which Swansea score again and potentially have another field goal. This game very much could be over and uh, Swansea are going to be looking to that clash with Aberystwyth next week. I'll try and get that score line just to add a little bit of flair. Bullets Aberystwyth. Basically the winner, that if Aberystwyth win that game, the winner of Aberystwyth versus Swansea will be the one promoted, picking up the Battle of Wales a lot. Obviously, <coughs> sorry, in the south, we've got the game next week. The big one, Brighton versus Sussex for the Southern 2 Championship. Over in the southeast, Imperial Immortals looking like they're going to win that div, but they have got a game with UCL, the second place team. Uh, next week, which very well could decide the division as well. I'm going to put my money on Imperial. Midlands 2, very much looking like it's going to be going the way of the Nottingham Green. Whilst the 2B, let's be honest, is Northumbria Mustangs. I think Northumbria Mustangs are the favourite to win the Div 2 North, but you've also got the U-Clan Rams and their big showdown next week with the Lancaster Bombers in Div 1. Exeter, you know, we've been bigging up Exeter for a while. I think they're still going to win the Div. Brunel versus Hertfordshire is also a very, very stressful game, which I believe is happening. I'll try and find out something for you. In the southeast, the battle's going on now, UEA versus Kent. However, there's some issues going on there with one of the Kent's games against the QNBL Vipers. So once that's resolved, then we'll know who's going to win that div. I still think Kent, they are going to make the playoffs. I think they're going to be very effective in there. Scottish one, God, I don't know. It's Edinburgh and Glasgow today. Winner of that, give it to them. I like, to be fair, I like Glasgow. I like Edinburgh. Both teams have got something going. Do I think they're going to get, do I think they're going to make the Northern final? No, truthfully not. The team that I think a lot of people are forgetting about here, the NTU Renegades, currently undefeated, smashing everyone, smashing Hallam, smashing Warwick, smashing Leicester, smashing Cov. Um, sort of being on low-key, forgotten about here. But I think they're going to be good. But if you're looking at who's going to be promoted, people are saying it's either going to be Manchester or it's going to be Leeds. Leeds want to go back up, whilst Manchester beat Leeds, only by two points. But we're going to move on there. I want to try and look at some scores for you and have this another cough suite. The sun's starting to come out in Gloucestershire, thank God. Let's have a look. Please give me some scores. We'll have to go to Instagram. Run down tomorrow with director of football for the Exeter Demons, Lionel Ward Best. Looking forward to having him on. Kent currently 18 nil up against the UEA Pirates. That's just one. Again, I, I apologise if you can hear that sweet bounce off my teeth, but... There's not much I can do about that as it stands. Yeah, there you go. That is, no, that is correct. The, I got my prediction right, ladies and gentlemen. Correct. The Nottingham Green have won the Midlands two. They're the first seconds team to go up after their victory over Cambridge today. 5 a.m. start, mad. <coughs> Sorry, it's Brunel versus Hertfordshire next week. But all eyes for Brunel or Southern One fans. Brunel need to beat Hertfordshire. Sorry, need to beat Oxford today to set up Brunel versus Oxfordshire for the divisional title next week. Let's see, I'm trying to. Good Lord, please give me some. I'm trying to find out this Aberystwyth score because that's the one that's most pertinent to uh, to this game. Come on, Aberystwyth social team. Oh, okay, so... Okay. This is where it's going to get interesting. Taranai, Aberystwyth, 22. UWE Bullets 2s, 0. Two shutouts happening here for the Welsh squads in the southwest too, setting up, if it keeps going the way that it's going, the Battle of Wales will be more than just for Welsh pride. It will be for the southwest two title. 
Let's have a look. Come on, give me more social media. Not City Wolfpack's questionable game fits. Oh my god. It looks bad that I'm just on camera on my phone, but I promise you I'm doing work. I think that's it. That's all I'm gonna go for. So, score line here in Gloucestershire, Southwest two, Swansea Titans 20, Gloucestershire zero. In Aberystwyth, Aberystwyth 22, UWE Bullets twos, zero. I'm gonna have a break now. <laughs> Don't hit the camera. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, go and get yourself go and get yourself a drink, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back in just a few.
fantastic. La 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 la. Swansea Tortoise. Swansea Tortoise. <laughs>
Hello. No more professional way to check the uh, the, the mics on than that. I might be a little bit early here. Ref's set up. The Swansea look ready. But Gloucestershire don't. Oh, so I'm going to look at some more scores. It's when the ref gets a ball in his hand, that's when I, that's my call to action. Wind is definitely picking up here in Gloucestershire. But Swansea are going to be looking to take this one out to, to a win. On the bus journey home, set up the battle. The Battle of Wales. Let's see here. And I've got one more hand free. Can you believe that? Oi. Okay. Oh god. No one's no one's commenting about how smart I look, by the way. Bit rude. Bit rude if you ask me, but you know. We move. Um, no, no more. No more. Now this is definitely worrying. If you are a Gloucestershire Gladiators fan. Because let's just look. Gloucestershire are coming off the pitch for warm-offs. And Swansea are getting ready to kick the ball off. I'm going to make a bold assumption here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think this kickoff is going to be returned for... For much as we enter Q3 here, 22 to zero in the other Southwest Two game. Welsh teams are on one, are on this. Jack Gorringe is here. Wish Jack Gorringe was here. No, yeah, no, he's gonna ask. No, you can have it later. He's trying to take the phone that we run the connection off of. Where's bloody MCL? <laughs> Dragging the jersey down there of... Yeah, I know, but I need to check what pocket it's in. So ladies and gentlemen, so I'll tell you now, how are you? Fucking don't swear on live. I don't want to hear from you now. If the stream goes down, I'll get it back up. I just need to give Jordan his phone back. That's what we're running off of. Right. Don't apologize for sorry. Cheers, mate. Uh, put a message in the chat. With all you. So if the stream does go down slightly, I will. Pop, it will pop back up. But unfortunately, that's just an unforeseen circumstance of having to use a player's phone for connection. I think it's switched. I think it's switched. Drops looking okay. Okay, we move. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I just needed to sort out some tech issues there. Looks like it's a third over the head of Sutcliffe. You can zoom again. Again, I do apologize about that, ladies and gentlemen. I just have to deal with a little bit of tech issues. I'll say thank you to John Vincent for uh, letting uh, me borrow his uh, data. It's because, you know, trying to get the data out. Easy peasy. Fourth and 10. Now, and it looks like the Glad's punting unit is gonna broach the field one more time. As we've now got Killer, and it's a f run right. Ball's coming towards me. Right. Ball lands there. Charlie Roberts looking like he's filling in for Griffiths, Griffiths there. Number 25. As it looks like Swansea are going to be starting on their own 29 yard line. 20, 28 yard line. My apologies. <clears throat> Here we go now. Let's widen that out. Put out there. Here we go. Bit of a bit of an orbit. Bit of an orbit of a of a snap there. Let's 
Sekon, number 63 there. With the full start penalty, taking the Swansea Titans back five yards. First and 15. Here we go. And it's a handoff to Harris. Looks like it's going to be a gain of two. Hi, Liam. What's up? Where are you on holiday again? <coughs> again, I apologize for the cough, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still quite ill. Gain of two there. Second and 13 now for the Titans. Here we go. Fields looking. But Harris... And Fields just, oh! Let's have another look at that again. Harris tried for the hurdle. I tell you what, that might be the first hurdle attempt I've seen. That might be the first hurdle attempt I've ever seen. Uh, he's in Mallorca. First hurdle attempt didn't go the way. Beautiful. Definitely sunnier than right here in uh, Plot Court. But you see that even when Fields being pressured by Joe White, number 88, still managing to throw an accurate ball into the hands of Harris. Low snap, bouncing on the floor. But oh my lord, Fields with a magic trick there. Wow, wow, wow. Let's have a look at that. I'm going to watch you back. So quick there, number 47, Billy Bateson knew the route and he believed and he managed to keep going. Not a single second wasted there between Fields and Bateson. Creating a, gain, creating a big gain. And that chest pass again to Bateson. But Simon Bennett, <clears throat> the all-star D tackler last year, makes the tackle. Good fun facts there about Simon Bennett, number 55, in the Gloucestershire Gladiators games with the UW, or with the UWE Bullets this year. Uh, he scored all the points. It was an 8-0 game. He scored all the points. He got a scoop and score, and he got the safety. Unbelievable stuff. That's a good little stat line, isn't it? it looks like we've got an injured gladiator down. Yeah, 20 points still isn't insurmountable, but when the offense has been is back to the form of a couple of weeks ago, because I was obviously at Plymouth versus Gloucestershire last week and it was it looked like a different team. It looked completely different. Uh, but this week it seems to be back to old form there. Who is that? Oh, I hope that's not Bobby. Bobby, one of the definitely one of the standout rookies for Gloucestershire. I think he's just gone off injured. Second and 12 now for the Titans. Hand off to Bateson again. Oh, and just gets by number 64. And that is Joe McDermott once again being a gadget man. He's played tackle. He's played centre. And now he's on the D-line. You can tell because 64 for the Glads. He's playing D. He's playing D tackle, but he's only got one glove on because he's playing centre as well. <clears throat> Fields looking. A 48 is open, bouncing off the fingertips of Ben Williams. Fourth and 13 now for Swansea.
Again, I apologise if you can hear the cough sweet in my mouth. But I'm ill. So Swansea are going for it here on a fourth and 13. Fields is looking, but he is sacked by the centre. Joe McDermott is an absolute animal. Wow, wow, wow. MCD. Wow. I can't believe that. He's playing centre, backup centre, and he's just recorded a sack. Sensational there from MCD. So again, probably the third best field position that the Gloucester Gladiators have started with. Spread offence. High snap. Looking. Caught by Harry Owen. But brought down behind the stickeroonies. It's looking like... Let's zoom in a bit. Let's see if that ref's going to move that. Oh, no, but, but. I'm talking out my backside again. It's all about the angles, and Mike's not here. He's uh, he's in Reading or Holloway. I think he's in Holloway. That's going to be a gain of two for the Gladiators. Low snap. Fabs has gone. He's got a lead blocker. But brought down by Colton Canturk. First down. Okay, Colton Canturk. That's a football name. Hey, there are people racing down Gloucester. Okay. Let's wind that a bit. And another handoff there. But 97 of Swansea. Zach Jenkins. He had one hand on a D tackle, extends the other. Like JBL, like Bradshaw, just clotheslining Fabs. But Fabs is going to pick up a gain of two on that run. It's like what you see NFL uh, D tackles do. Just to arm out. And this time, run from Isaac number 10. That's going to be an okay game here. And that's going to be a... Wait, it's a third, it's a third. Come on. It's going to be a third and... Three, four. Let's go with four. Let's run with four. And it's another run this time with Fabs. Pushing through. And it's going to be another first down here for the Gladiators. <coughs> and it's very, very strange. Well, definitely, you could say the first half, the run game of Gloucestershire, you know, sorry to say, boys, when you watch this back, it was non-existent. It did exist. It's like my diet plan, but non-existent. Yeah, no. First and ten here. Another run. <laughs> but Sam Thompson with a with a great sack. I mean, this is gonna sound bad for Swansea and Sam Thompson. I think a bit OTT celebration there for a, a TFL of one. But you know, who am I to say? I would have loved to get a TFL once in my life. Second and 12 here for Gloucestershire. You know, windy, windy day. High snap. Flag on the play. Going to be interesting to see what that is. High snap there. I think that was what affected that play from Gloucestershire. But gosh knows what this flag is going to be. Yeah, I 
Okay. And Colton can Turk there with the face mask penalty. Probably the deepest that Gloucestershire has been inside the Swansea uh, half of the field. Got a man in motion, and it's a blast. It's going to be a gain of three. Two? Gain of two, gain of two. Would not surprise me. The Matt Ruffin said Gloucester are going to be using all three of those downs. Trips now. As we see, beautiful Harvey Sutcliffe there. Great snap there from MCD. Snell looking. And almost picked there by Isaac Ness. And are picking that situation. We're going to ruin the hopes and dreams of the Gloucestershire Gladiators. Liam Bentley calling for a Harry Owen TD. Liam, if that comes off, I'll buy you a pint. How about that? Predictions only. So we've got Alex Ball, nearest receiver to us. On the line. And a great stop there by. I need to wait for the referee to move. 47. And that's Billy Bateson. Seems to be there's a there's a definitely a lot of key players here. Bateson, Griffiths, Nicklin, Fields, Harris, and Patterson. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure there's loads of great players on Swansea, but they're the ones that I'm talking about today. So fourth and ten. Last chance saloon for Gloucestershire. High snap. Snell looking. Goes nowhere, but we do have a Titan down, it looks like. <clears throat> Let's pan over here instead. Big collision there between. No, he's up. Nasola Wale, big collision there with Harry Owen, number four. But he's up and he's walking off. There you go, listen, that's how windy it is here. The ball's blowing away when it's on the ground. And another great play from MCD. Tell you what, MCD having the gain of his life. And that's going to be a tackle on the running back. He broke straight through. Going to bring up a second and 13, I'm going to say, for 14, 14, 14, for the, for the Titans. That, oh, and MCD and Joe White come together for a tackle, but there is a pick on the far side. Oh, sorry, pick. A flag on the far side. Going to be interesting to see who that's against there. Two, after two big tackles for loss for Gloucestershire. Where is the White Hat official? Well, I cannot see him. Jay, uh, Liam doing some awful 
awful, awful statistics here. Let's have a look here. Okay. <coughs> Gonna have to trust the refs now because I didn't see it. Unnecessary rough this snare. Newton number 13 has put the Titans close to their own end zone. That's going to be a third and 22. Sorry for blowing a raspberry down the mic, but a third and 22 for Swansea. Low snap. Max protect. Oh. And Newton there. R roughness pen not being able to catch the ball. Gonna be. <clears throat> Always good. So the Swansea Titans are gonna be kicking out the back of their own end zone. I think that, you know, you're gonna be sending the house as Nicklin's going, but he gets it away. And that flies out of bounds just prior to the halfway point of the field. Yeah, really, these ones are on the yeah, yeah, yeah. Liam, you didn't come to me over in uh, Palmer. Where are you? Palmer, yeah. <clears throat> you know, it's the classic. Every, it's every, every snap. It's going, it's going. It's going, it's going. Because I've got some free hands now. Let's check some scores around the league. No, I need to get on the camera because the football's happening. I think you should do the cars too audible. Bounces on the floor just, just next to Harry Owen. Let's have a look. Oh, come on, people. Give me some more. Kent Falcons shut out the UEA Pirates. 18-0. Woo. That's an interesting one. Can we just see what that walkover slash voided game of QNBL does for Kent there, but a shutout. I've got no idea what happened there. I've got no idea what happened there. Snell, Snell just caught the ball. That's all I know. Great catch by Snell, though. So the Edinburgh Napier Knights are up 14-0 against Aberdeen. And Leeds are currently winning 6-0. Snell's looking. But a clash of heads there between two Swansea players. Durham Saints 7 0. Oh, no, talking. Let's see, 21 0. Is there any more? Okay. As of 16 minutes ago, Durham 24, Loughborough 6. As it's the end of Q3 here, watch this. You're about to watch something absolutely sensational. Watch this. Watch his turn. Into Q4. Bang. Trying to find any other ones. Come on, Warwick. Warwick Lee. I believe they've got Hallam again. Don't quote me on that. I believe they do. Exeter. Mm. 
Exeter leading Southampton 38 to 6 at the half as Joe White kicks it away. Taking a Gloucestershire bounce. Going to be stopping at maybe the four. I can't see any other ones. This week, the champions' posts are going to start coming in thick and fast. So you're probably going to ask yourself, well, I'll wait until the play is over first. Doesn't go the Titans there, perhaps even backwards. Lots of tackle for losses in this second half, but we are in the fourth quarter now. Gloucestershire need three TDs. Ooh, damaging. Um, the reason why like, our, our like to be a hundred percent certain because we don't know what could happen. Someone could do a walk. Someone could walk over in the last week by a freak accident. We don't like to speculate on Sport Tank. D. Joe McDermott is the best player on this Glad's offense on this Glad's team today. Let's get that out of the way right now. That is number 64. And, and I'll tell you what, Lizzie, he wants to play senior ball. But I don't know who for. He lives in Essex. So all the you Essex teams. As Fields tries to run. And it's going to be another short yardage situation. Swansea don't seem to have gone anywhere apart from backwards in that drive. You know, you're 20 points up. It's the fourth. It's sort of taking your eye off the ball a little bit. Maybe... I don't know, we've seen a lot of tackle for losses, or maybe it's just Gloucestershire turning on the jet. Uh, uh, you know, you know, not the best time in the world. Receive as Nicklin looks to boot it into the stratosphere. High kick. It bounce. And by number 88. <coughs> Dylan Patrick. You're going to need something here. Gloucestershire want to leave here with some points. You don't want to be walked over. Not walked over. You don't want to be shut out. <coughs> Two in the backfield. Hand off to 10. But you ran straight into a big, big man in Billy Bateson. It's currently 13-0 in Aberystwyth. A loss of three for Gloucestershire. <clears throat> you got Harvey Sutcliffe on the left, Harry Owen, and then Alex Ball. Toss right, Fabs is running. But a big tackle there, a sliding tackle. You got that speed. Number 19, <coughs> Ola Wale there. Managing to get him down. Gonna be a third and 13. Let's widen up a little bit. The trips on the left. Moving Fabs 84 out to receiver <coughs> he says he moves for a jet fake jet Snell's looking got time he's running he's running <coughs> 
No sign of a punt unit for Gloucestershire. So they're not they're not giving up just yet. We'll see. Shout out to 55 and 64. 55 Simon Bennett and 64 Joe McDermott. Playing both ways. Play action. And over the head of Harvey Sutcliffe. I didn't turn the camera. Sorry. I was too busy in awe. So the offense for the Swansea Titans comes back out. <coughs> oh, my arm hurts. Okay, okay. Swansea starting, uh, I'm going to say, 38 yard line, their own. Fields on a scramble. <laughs> Brought down by number 26, Bobby. Definitely a standout uh, rookie for the University of Gloucestershire is number 26. Bolstered by Jack Burgess, number 86. Number 85, the notorious VIC. JB wearing number three. Hero wearing number two. And it's a handoff, 232. Wow. And Jacob Harris looked a little bit dead to rights there, but he powered through and a flag on the play. Bobby is out for Jade Crick, number 25. <coughs> Let's have a look. Sorry for the coughing, ladies and gentlemen. And a blustery cracks in the sky, a light. Where is my white hat ref? There he is. Sorry. So an unnecessary roughness penalty on Gloucestershire. Number 86. Wind that out a bit. Welsh John. That's what we call Jack Burgess here for some reason. Don't know. And there's a handoff now to Harris. And Harris running through people. Low centre of gravity on Harris. Here we go. Now. Second and two for the Titans now. And Fields is running. And Fields runs straight into number 64, Joe McDermott. And it's not going to be a first down for the Titans. Got your ticket today, mate. Or did you make just cough sweets? Cough sweets only. Cough sweets only today. Ran straight into number 64, Joe McDermott. <coughs> Certain one. But you got a man like Fields and a man like Harris in the backfield. Gonna be Fields throws it and bouncing off the turf. Fourth and one. No sign of a punt in the sight. Yeah, and Fields. And 
Fields runs into multiple, multiple people. And to get that first down, it looks like. And we're going to have a man down. I believe that's Luis, our uh, other Canadian, I believe. I, I need to see his number first before I can uh, make any claims. Let's check the score in North Wales, he says. Once I grab my phone. Steve, just tell me he's got light Royal Holloway. As Luis has made his way back to the sideline, let's see if there's any updates in Northern Wales. 5.20 remain. <laughs> so, fourth quarter in North Wales. Aberyst with 38. UWE Bullets 2-0. Given that it's five minutes left in this game, 20 points and Swansea are on the 10-yard line of Gloucestershire, it looks like the Battle of Wales is going to decide it all next week. And now Leo, number 70. Another rookie in at the tackle. down to the floor you know if obviously, former CC of the gladiators I want to look at some positives here you know our playoff contention you got Bath Spa next week can't start looking yet I can say that because I'm on the sideline commentating the game Fields runs right, he sees Glads, and a takedown by Hero, number two, a former Sterling Klansman. Hero, one of the few players <coughs> who has played the Swansea Titans before. I believe, I believe that Hero is the only uh, Gloucestershire Gladiator to have played Swansea uh, before. In the Prem, in the Prem. Okay, Fields is looking for pressure. Dumps it off to Harris. And just like that. Six points on the board. Ladies and gentlemen, with that score from Harris, well, I think this game is in the book. Sub five minutes remaining. Wrong. Three touchdowns would be a miracle. Four. Swansea, Swansea, going for two, Fields is looking, and off the heel of 25, but a flag on the play, a flag on the play, this is going to be a pen on Gloucestershire. And I think Swansea might get another chance at this. So Swansea get another crack at two points after a rough in the pass, a penalty from Joe White, his second of the day. We'll look at some more scores around the league when the game's over with. 
sub five minutes. Obviously, these are not non untimed downs. Here we go, Fields looking to run through. <coughs> and like a hot knife through butter, the score is 28 to zero. Now the question is gonna be turned to the Battle of Wales. As it seems as though the Taranai, Aberystwyth and the Swansea Titans are gonna be meeting next week, which is going to decide <coughs> who's being promoted. Now, as I've said, I'm not sure how many of you read the old rankings written by myself, but I think the biggest advantage that the Aberystwyth Taranai have, Taranai Aberystwyth, whatever you want to say, that game's at home, and that's a hard pitch to win on if you're an away side. That's going to be another one, much like Lancaster versus UCLan, Sussex versus Brighton, UCL versus Imperial. That is going to be for the division. Great ball this time to Harry Owen. I'd say that's probably the first ball that was kicked away of number four. There's a, there's a few games that have got it all on the line. Obviously, Hull and Leeds next week, but for different reasons. Hull trying to stay up. <clears throat> but Div 2 really is all to play for, unless you're Nottingham or Northumbria, then it's basically wrapped up for you. High snap. Snell's looking. And just sort of jamming the fingers there, Harry Owen. <clears throat> you know, if we're looking at the teams that uh, came down last year, um, potentially Swansea, potentially Sussex, potentially Imperial. Oh, sun's out. <coughs> Great catch by Fours. But number four, Harry Owen there, with a brief moment of catharsis as the pride of Caffilly gets another completion and a first down. So Swansea have a play called Pop World Tuesday. Bro, are you going out on Tuesdays? What's up with that? I wonder if Aberystwyth are going to go out Friday night next week. Biggest game of their entire lives. Snell looking to Harry Owen one more time. He's got a blocker, and he's got another first down. <coughs> Wind picking up here as the Gloucestershire Gladiators just try and not get shut out or shut out today because this game Harvey Sutcliffe on an island on the left. Pardon me, I burped there. Sutcliffe. And it's going to be another first down for Gloucestershire. Another trips, this time a run play. And Isaac goes nowhere. 
Dragons he Titans he ran into, but there was about three of them. So, gaggle of Titans. Uh, a terror of Titans, a tumble of Titans. We have a, uh, we have a, we have I, Isaac down number 10. Let's see if I can spot my housemates. Where are they? No. Where are they? Wow, this camera's quite good. What a pan shot. So even Swansea's got some good support. Let's Even they've got some good. So two minutes twenty remain in the game. Gloucestershire have a second and eight. As their ambitions to not be shut out are four. Beautiful sun right in my eyes. And caught by Alex Ball. And that might even be a first down. Potentially. I don't see any flags, but I hear whistles. <coughs> it's cough o'clock. Two minute warning at 154. Not a first down Gloucestershire, but a second. Oh, yes. No, second and two. Okay. And that looks to be a pick. <clears throat> and the Gloucestershire Gladiators' dreams of not being shut out looks to have dissipated with another pick. I believe... I'm not sure he got that last pick. It was on the over the side of the field. I would have gotten it wrong. So the showdown in North Wales next week is where eyes will lie in the South West too. <coughs> Only two teams can get that promotion spot now and both of them hail from Wales. Swansea versus Aberystwyth. Aberystwyth obviously claimed to be the best team in Wales last year as they were the only Welsh team that won a game. And I can't imagine Swansea have forgotten that disrespect. But it's going to be for more than just pride as the South West 2 Championship and promotion is on the line in Aberystwyth. Now, where do the Gloucestershire Gladiators go from here? Well, next week, Super Bowl Sunday, they have a showdown with the Bath Killer Bees at home as Harris jukes a man and does it well. <coughs> Gloucestershire will have playoffs on the mind. They'll have playoffs on the mind. But realistically, at first, they've just got to get through Bath Spa next week. Bath Spa only winning one game. That came last week against the Worcester Royals. So an interesting one. An interesting one, but 
playoff potential for Gloucestershire. It's not all wrapped up for them like it was last year. But yeah, looking around the league, I'll try and get some more scores on the doors for you. As it goes on as Nicklin, the punting unit. And there we go. Swansea advance to a date with Destiny and the Taranai Aberystwyth for the divisional title next week. The promotion dreams of the Gloucestershire Gladiators fall once again. Aberystwyth shut out the Uwe Bullets 2s. Swansea shut out the Gloucestershire Gladiators. And it sets up Aberystwyth versus Swansea next week for the South West 2. Bittersweet here in Gloucester for me, if I'll be real for a second. It was a hard game. Uh, I don't know what the boys could have done. The offence just didn't click. And that's what has held um, the Gloucestershire Gladiators back uh, this year. Sometimes it's just not there for them. But their season isn't over yet. But a Div 1 berth will not happen. But all eyes in the southwest too turn to Wales and Aberystwyth as Swansea will be travelling to Aberystwyth through the valleys for a showdown. Violence in the Valleys, I think that's what I'll call it. Hi Turk. Turk, you come to watch us lose. But realistically, ladies and gentlemen, oh, MVPs, you know, I'll give out Gloucestershire's one because it's easy. McDermott, MCD, sensational, all round, love it. Um, Swansea, gosh, there's a lot. It's difficult, you know, Bateson and Patterson, oh gosh. I still want to give it a I still want to give it to Billy Bateson. He was all over the shop, running through people. But Jacob Harris, he was just well, Swansea got a lot, a lot of talent. But ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna give you some scores around the league. But that's it. <clears throat> Second loss to a Welsh side as Leeds are up 12 0. I'm going to go and talk to the boys. So, full time in Aberystwyth. 46-0 to the Aberystwyth Taranai. Again, is setting up the Battle of Wales. I'm going to have a look at some more scores of the league because I'm going to go and join my friends and commiserate with them and stop being a professional commentator and being neutral because the second I turn this camera off I'm going to go and give my friends some commiseratory hugs all right just to let everyone know so I'm going to let I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of the scores if I can find them I beg that someone's put some more on the, on the, the old thread of Rooney no they haven't jeez Louise doing my head in yeah thanks Jim you know Edge Hill 13 Keel 6 sorry Edge Hill for uh, mess up the graphic, but we all picked you, so have that. Um, big surprise, UEA versus Kent. Kent win that. And ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> uh, well, it's a bit too windy for me to do the sign off away from camera, so I'm gonna hold it like this. If I do it like that, no. 
So run down tomorrow, half six, seven. You know how how it works. Um, game manager or uh, director of football at Exeter Demons, Lionel Best, will be joining us as we look through this week's fixtures. Who we think is going to, you know, who's looking playoffy? Who's it confirmed for realistically? We're going to have a look through. We're going to look to see who was right and who was wrong in their really really early preseason predictions. But yeah, not a lot of scores in so far. So keep your eye on Sport Tank for all the scores around this week. Um, but the one I can tell you, the two that matter, if you're in the southwest, to Aberyst with 46, I believe. Bullets, zero. Any Gloucestershire, zero. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. Bittersweet here in Gloucestershire.